Hello and welcome back to my outdoor office again. And this week, owing to a fairly extensive edit, it's going to be a short one for the Tuesday. But I thought it would be useful just to mention a couple of things I keep seeing pop up on my social media feeds, especially Instagram and Facebook. And it's this. There's a number of firms now who are continually advertising got two mad dogs running around me as I speak continually advertising blood glucose monitors which are watches and they say they're fantastic and another firm that's offering pulsometers which will also check your blood glucose levels it's fantastic the way that technology has taken on because these things are non-invasive apparently they're really clever, they shine a light through your skin or they just measure the sweat and they can tell you exactly what your blood glucose is as a result. It almost sounds too good to be true. And it is. It's a load of, well, pardon my French, it's bollocks. It is not true. There is no factual basis for it. And if it was true, I can guarantee you they wouldn't be charging £30 or so which is what they seem to be demanding. The pulsometer is a pulsometer. It is advertised as a continual glucose monitor device. That's a lie, outright. When you go and follow the links, all of a sudden any mention of blood glucose disappears. It's just a scam trying to persuade you to buy what is in effect an 11 pound standard pulsometer that will tell you the oxygen level and what your heartbeat is and they're trying to charge 30 quid for it. Well, good luck, John. The other things, the smart watches, now they're rather interesting because as a concept, there's lots of firms looking at them. There's one whose name escapes me based in uh, Wales who are designing their own device. And Apple, of course, are trying to fit it into their own Apple watches. Not the existing ones, it'll be something where you have to buy a new Apple Watch. I must admit, that's about the only thing that could persuade me to buy an Apple Watch is if it was a reliable blood glucose monitor as well. But as it stands right now, Apple hasn't got it and neither has this Welsh firm. They've both invested millions in trying to sort this. The idea that a little Chinese firm could have done it suddenly even in conjunction, as they say, with St. Thomas's Hospital in England, is laughable. And they clearly are not true. They're fraudulent. I have reported each time when these things come up on my feeds. I've reported them to Google and whoever. And, of course, the adverts still keep coming because Google and other firms want the advertising money. They're not going to block it. But the fact is, they are scam artists. And there are so many things that you need to look out for. So what should you look out for? Well, when you see someone saying, oh, you can fix something with this simple trick or this little hack, you know it's a fraud. It's a scam. If you see a device that suddenly says, oh, it was invented by this chap or this woman, and it gives all sorts of credibility to it by saying, this guy was, let's take the uh, thing about glasses, this guy was a paid optometrist for many years. Optometrist. Didn't come out right. And he's, he saw so many patients, and so he decided he was going to fix their eyes forever. And all you have to do is buy this set of glasses, and you'll never need to see an optician again. Absolute lies, absolute lies, just ridiculous. But some people will be taken in by it and they'll pay over their they'll pay over their forty to fifty pounds or dollars and they'll be disappointed because it'll be a waste of money. They won't get their money back because that's the way these scams work. There are lots and lots of different types of scam artists, but as I say, if there's a little backstory given about how this person designed it for whatever reason, it'll be a lie. If it's 
something where it says that there was a my fingers giving out this is ridiculous i i should apologize i do apologize i left my stand at home so i'm having to hold this up and my finger just started giving out and going all twitchy but um yeah if there's all sorts of credible um sounding information then be suspicious go and check with the firm suggested if it says this was invented by st thomas's hospital st thomas's will be mentioning the fact they'll have it in their news releases they'll have it all over the place so don't just take the word of a scam artist for it check the facts certainly before you pay any money into them what else should you look out for well basically if it's something like a continual blood glucose monitor if you're going to find one of them it'll cost you with a standard from Abbott Labs or one of the others they're going to cost you over a thousand pounds a year because that's how expensive it is to make these things to develop them and then start manufacturing they're not cheap simple devices and the testing systems and the algorithms used are also not cheap so is it really likely that someone's going to be able to produce something that will do the same job for 30 odd quid it is a remote possibility is it likely that anybody would do that knowing that they could be charging a thousand quid no it's not now the welsh firm i mentioned has deliberately decided to pitch their pricing in competition with standard blood glucose monitors so they're going to be charging about a thousand quid a year from the sound of it that was the last report i saw certainly so a little bit cheaper than a standard blood glucose monitor from abbott labs but not much other devices i mean the apple watch i've no idea how much they're going to charge for that but um, they will no doubt be adding it as a useful add-on for sports people and probably diabetics because they can see money in it and if there's one thing apple is keen on it's making money so you know those are possibilities but for goodness sake don't go out and buy these things be suspicious be doubtful because it's the only way to stay safe because if you buy one of these things and it gives you a load of duff information which it will because they are not accurate devices they cannot be if it gives you duff information you could do yourself a huge amount of damage you might have to lose a leg you might have to lose your eyesight it could be any number of different things but the one thing that's certain is it will have a deleterious effect on your health so that was all for today hope that was interesting hope it was worthwhile if you enjoyed this don't forget go down the bottom you can hit the like button and apart from that spread the word about me talking this nonsense and i'll look forward to speaking to you in a week's time or so thanks a lot take care and bye